It's red. Thanks to you. You were right, Doc. It was easy to get out when I learned how to keep my head down. Good. Glad to hear it. What exactly did he get out of? That Sumi here was a Yakuza. And he was thrown in the summer some 15 years ago for something trivial. I got an idea. I've got an idea, Kiryu. Why don't you show Tatsumi around the city? Now I'll bet he hardly recognizes it. Oh. It's a deal. I'll show him around. I appreciate that. I don't even know any good places to eat around here anymore. So long, Dick. Oh, sorry, I gave him the wrong voice there. Let's go find a few drinks next time. On me. I'll take you up on that. Take care now. Also, good to see you again after two years, Kiryu. Right. Where are we going? We are going to... Oh, no, I guess I'll take this guy to see the Millennium Tower. Oh, well, there we go. That's what we're doing. Wait, 15 years ago. No, no, the Millennium Tower will probably still be under construction at that point. Here we are, the Millennium Tower. Real colossus, huh? That must have taken quite a lot to get built. I heard a lot of rumors about this place. They say some bad stuff went down here. Like explosions, and another explosion. Then there was the minigun incident not too long ago. Just now, I heard some people talking about a chump shooting the hell out of this place at once. Was that the minigun thing, or was that something else? Is it going to explode? Oh, uh, yeah, the, there's been two bombing incidents, and yeah, one minigun incident with a helicopter. Bombing incidents? What's the city coming to? Yeah, you got a lot of nerve coming back to the city, old man. And you ain't getting a free piss. Damn it. It is the asshole. This time he's leaving town on a flapping hiss. Oh no! Angry street folks who wish to punch us in the face! Whatever will we do? Not dead, by the way. Okay, our problem solved. Where are the policemen when you need them? Trip! <laughs> we knew you were in town! You're gonna pay for this! Mommy! Sorry about that. Didn't want to get you involved in all this. It's fine. Also, hail Turbo Drive Live! Welcome, Raiders. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Vortex. My name is Ezio, and I will be your guide this evening as we venture through the world, through the realm of Yakuza 3 Remastered. How's the stream, Turbo? Well, I hope. And before I forget, or get distracted by something shiny again, let's give you a quick shout-out. Shout out God Ezio, no, why would I shout out that one? There we go, Turbo Drive Life, much more awesome. Playing... Gradinia 2 HD Remaster, why does Gradinia sound familiar? Thinking of Final Fantasy again, aren't I? Right, no, I've never... I, I, something in that name rings a bell? Waifu might be involved in that one, but I couldn't possibly say. Either way, I hope you had a good time. This is the second time Turbo has raided us. I'm pretty sure that Turbo has raided does more than that, Spiz. Just, just saying. Um, well, you are in the right ballpark. It is an RPG. Woo! I am in the ballpark. Wait, that means baseball. No, 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 no. No more baseball. I refuse. Never again will we play baseball. Never. Ah. 
would say. Baseball gone away. This is good. Right, let's get back to um, whatever this is. So, where do you want to go next? How yeah, about Shangri-La? For old time's sake. Shangri-La? Right, if we keep going straight along Taihei Boulevard, there should be a high class brothel over there. Yes, there was before an angry man in an eye patch drove a garbage truck into it. I, I don't think it's still in business. Oh, maybe it is. I mean, it does look slightly more repaired than it did previously. Um, uh, as soon as I remember where it is. I mean, me knowing where a brothel is? No, surely. Oh, never mind. I found it. <laughs> It's a shame, Rilla. Where's the brothel? It was shut down about four years ago. There was a lot going on here. I got this joint and some asshole crashed a dump truck into the place. Looks like it was true. Well, I mean, it, it looks fairly more rebuilt than it did previously. What's the point in having a nice building if you can't have any fun in it? Well, if it's a hotel, then you could have all the fun you wish with... Ne ne ah, no, never, no, never mind. Ignore me. No. Shangri-La had one of the best bros, best brothels in Camarocha too. What a disappointment. Hmm. Well, sorry. That boy must show up here. You horny son of a... Too bad, Shangri-La has moved down with all you old man. I'm out of the business now. I went into the joint and washed my hands of everything. These guys have been after you? Yeah, some stuff happened before I went to prison. Tell me after it. Sleep out both these. Oh no, street folks, whatever will we do? We are doomed, we are dead, we will be obliterated. And I might actually be obliterated. Um... Oh well that was just rude. <laughs> Wait, did he just... <laughs> just butt-slammed me. Okay, sure. Didn't even know that was a move. Okay, fine. There we go, problem solved. Get up. Fresh out of prison. I'm sorry to disgrace our best, but I did my time. My duties as a Yakuza are over once and for all. It's just that easy, huh? Well, that's not enough to what you did. If you're not gonna leave the city alive, then we'll make sure you leave it dead. <laughs> Well, the Yakuza 15 years ago. There was a big war coming out just outside the city. Uh, it was a big name in the business back then. At the lead of a lot of boys in battle. Then one day, my son was abducted. The day I abandoned my duty to save my son. Our family ultimately won the war, but we lost a lot of boys out there. All because I wasn't there to lead them. I took responsibility for the war and turned myself in, but the bus cut me off from the family while I was in prison. Only natural, I guess. I disgraced the boys and got my brothers killed. There's one more place I'd like to go. Could you take me to the West Park? 
homeless gather there. Pretty sure it's up to the north. Wait, hold on. If he raised his family, why does he have both his pinky fingers then? Um, I think you missed something there, devs. Right, West Park. We can do West Park. I know where West Park is. That's near Purgatory, right? I, I'm asking for a friend. A, a friend who likes wife? Ooh. I'm not convincing anyone, am I? Well, okay, I want to see the wife of Purgatory. Okay, fine, I admit it. I don't know if I can actually get into West Park at the minute. Oh, never mind. This is West Park. What the hell happened to it? Where's all the homeless? And the Big Ten community? Dude. You're not in West Park yet. You are near the toilets. Also... Big metal wall in front of you, unless you are Superman and it's not made of lead. You will not be able to see the homeless encampment. Though, in fairness, is there even going to be a homeless encampment there anymore? Considering, you know, the entire place was leveled for Mashima Construction in the last game. But oh, whatever. I mean, there's still a missing skyscraper to talk about. Where is it? They built it. We fought a death battle on top of it. There was a bomb. And all of a sudden, nope, no, nope, no skyscraper, no Camarocho Hill, so sorry. It's actually just a park again. Why? How? When? Why? Nani? No, okay, fine. I'm sure all of these answer questions and more will be answered in time. A lot of time, given that it's me playing this game. Um, homeless moved in front of the wall. Point. <laughs> Fair point, chat. Fair point. The building called Camarocho Hill should have gone up here by now, but it's still a vacant lot. Now I'm still surprised that the entire skyscraper's disappeared. That's a lot of steel to go missing. That's where I missed the bus for the first time. But the place I used to know is gone now. Well, I mean, two reasons. I suppose there was a bomb scare. But... It's been a while, Tatsumi. What are you doing here, boss? I heard from the young bucks that you were back in town. I had a feeling you'd stop by West Park sooner or later. You've been using the family... Oh. You've been using the family to get revenge on me? Is that what this is all about? Not even close. You and I live in different worlds now, Tsumi. After you went to prison, I cut you off from the family, officially and personally. You've got no place in Camarocho now. Even if I forgive you for the past, we still got plenty of boys who want you dead in the ground. No compromises. And I ain't got enough power to calm them all down by myself. So get the hell out. Don't ever show your face in the city again. Yeah. Yes, that's the only solution. Hey, boss. I'm gonna ask you one more thing. What? My son. What happened to my son? Don't worry about that. He's living safe and sound with his mother. Way out in Taguchi. Tell him? We told him you're dead. Thinks I'm dead, huh? Yeah, that's. I guess that's what's for the best. I'm out. I'm out of here, boss. Take care of yourself. Sue me. Thank you. Dude. Thanks for looking after Tatsumi for me. He's a little token, is a little token of my appreciation. Ought to come in handy for a guy like you. 
You got the blood brooch. What on earth is that? Um, a brooch with a large ruby. Its deep crimson rounded appearance reminds me of a blood clot. Marvellous, though, what does it do? Do I sell it? Do I use it as a gambling token? Uh, I don't know. He's really a good man. Not cut out for the business. A guy like him belongs on the straight and narrow. And so ends that sub-story. Tatsumi boss, uh, Tatsumi's boss seems to respect what kind of guy he is. Yeah, I still miss the normal Yakuza closes. Oh, well, right, where were we going? Can we actually get... Oh, no, we can only get into West Park when the story says we can get into West Park, can't we? Yep, nope, okay, uh, we're still blocked out from there. Um, hmm... I'm afraid to say the only thing left available for us to do at the moment, apart from go back to the Korean place or to Sushi Jin, is um the story. Dun, dun, dun. Which we will do very shortly, but first I desperately need to step away for a quick moment. So, with that said, I shall return. Be right back. Don't go away. Chersan. Chersan indeed. Unfortunately for you all, I have returned. Um, Camarucho Hills might have been demolished as an NPC in the beginning said the plans were cancelled. Huh. Seems a bit weird though, that's a lot of work to just throw out. What was I doing? Oh yeah, we were going to go to that restaurant and then we were going to go and do the story. Whatever that is. Can't be any good, whatever it is. Oh no, we were gonna go to a hostess bar. I promised hostessing, didn't I? Right, well we'll probably do a hostess bar before the story then. Haha. <laughs> I mean I could try and fob off the hostesses, but I think most people have thought I'd taken leave of my senses if I dare try. Um 
Ooh, liver. Charming. No, no. It has to be cooked properly. Otherwise, it's very powdery, not very nice. Go. Right, I need to find a hostess club. The only problem is I don't remember where the hostess clubs are. I mean, why would I ever know where a hostess club is? I, I would never dare frequent anywhere like that. Yes, Hello, can I have a hostess, please? I am rich millionaire Kiryu. Well, technically trillionaire, but still. Uh, let's talk to... Yori Nagamori. Uh, I'm going to have to do a female voice now, aren't I? Oh, my poor vocal cords. But... I was going to say hello, nurse, but that might be a bit in bad taste. Um, actually, no, I'm, I'm not in bad taste at all. Hello, nurse. Right. Uh, oops. Um like whiskey. I enjoy the whiskey. Whiskey's always very good. Do you like whiskey? Shall we get some whiskey? Sounds good to me. I mean, we can fix that for you. Fix what now for me? How? Where? Why? What? Uh, oh, son of a dingus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, five minutes of Majima? Gordon oh. Bennett. Right, okay. <laughs> Give me a moment. <clears throat> I might have to get some vocal zone on standby as well. Five minutes of Majima. So, what are you ordering? Have this then. <laughs> oh, you like that too, Kiryu Chen? So good. You want anything to eat? <laughs> well, if you're offering, I'll have this then. <laughs> Hungry, huh, Kiryu chap? Put the order in there. Everyone sounds like Majima, it's Majima for everyone! Didn't you realize that, chat? Of course you didn't. Because Majima is to be unexpected. Here you go, kid chat! Man already has this guide up. already has this guide up. Oh! Okay. okay, I'm restarting the timer on that one. Already has the guide up. No, no guide used at the moment whatsoever. I'm just remembering what chat told me in their infinite wisdom, of course. So, Kiryu chan, <laughs> did you come to this cabaret often? Maybe looking for Kanumi chan, perchance. Oh, <laughs> you naughty, naughty boy. I forgot who likes Ray Finn, but it could be Yakuza 4. Fair enough, fair enough, chat. Well, you could say that. Mm -hmm. Why? Well, I've got to admit, I don't know much about that myself. I see. <laughs> hey, I just remembered. To the mighty flock, it after all. Why not have the words of the great noble prophet Gary set out upon this world with the words of power, the words of the great and techno necromancers, but most importantly, our dear and wise sage, Gary Chan. Oh no, 
It was actually the Prophet Gary, but I'm sure my mighty Kiryu Chen would say something similar, something along the lines of praise be to our techno necromantic overlords and other empiric masters and all the things that have been released. But they mighty flock at the saint of this chat and the saint of the mighty Lord Majima, I should mention. He has on on the buys released the lux and called forth the mighty words. The mighty words, my friend, of course, the mighty words of power, the words, the, the words of Alphas and Tury. <laughs> Oh, I am so going to stab you for that. <laughs> who is Gary? Why, you do not know who Gary is, Hoodlum? Oh, ho, 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 ho. We shall have to have a very long word about that now, won't we? But oh well, where were we? Yes. So, do men even like about them? What even is this question? Well, we enjoy the conversation. Hmm? Okay, Kibu Jam. Is this your part time job? Yes. Yes, it is, Kibu. Yes, it is, Kibu Jam. Well, I'm a college student, apparently, even though I'm from the 1980s, and you're apparently near the same age. Maybe. I'll be graduating soon, don't you know? Well, congratulations. Yes, thank you, Kiryu Chan. Yes. You're a member of society now, then. So I guess so. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so over school by now. <sighs> College and classes were so boring. So yeah. How about you, Kiryu Chan? What do you do? Beaten anyone up lately? Seen that nice girl, Omi chan? You get college student hostesses and bars in the UK. Oh, no, you most certainly do not. Maybe, possibly, maybe in that London place, but not here in the north, as far as I'm aware. You mean a job? Yes, I'm kind of curious. I don't really hang out with guys like you at all, Kiryu Chan. I can tell that you don't have a normal job. Just look at those awful clothes you're wearing. <clears throat> and the voice of Majima is at an end. Marvelous. Right, where where are we? Oh, yeah, back to doing the female voices. <clears throat> I can tell you don't have a normal job. Just look at your clothes. You're kind of like... Oh, you know what I mean. Mm. Mm. Oh, a thug! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. Um, not in the US. But it looks like one. Uh, Bug isn't too far off. Uh, I'm a civil servant. An inch. What do we think? Civil servant, sure. So, who is Gary? Gary is our great and noble prophet, the man who stands upon the corner of Night City, between the vending machine and the random building, who hears the words of the mighty overlords. The mighty overlords who will their power into being, the vampiric overlords and their vampiric masters with the technomantic servants at their disposal. They are the ones of Alpha Centauri. And if you want the full story of all of that, uh, watch our Cyberpunk 2077 playthrough. 
Shameless plug, I know. Or you could just look it up on the wiki. Prophet, the Gary the Prophet, I think his name was. I'm a civil servant. Whoa, are you sure? You're some fancy bigwig. Don't believe everything you hear. <sighs> if that was a joke, Kiryu-san, I don't get your sense of humor. Oh, wow, okay. Okay. <gasps> it's already this nice. Yeah. Oh, right, okay then. Come back soon, okay? You can count on it. I got Shirori's business card. Marvelous. Thirty-seven thousand. Yeah, that's not too bad, I suppose. I might go and talk to the last hostess. Requesting me, I hope we get a little closer. Yes. And while the redeem is in effect, also hail yes, M7, okay. welcome. Gary the Prophet is the greatest NPC character in the world. Well, he certainly left an impression on me. Um, why can't we extend the session? What session? Oh, you mean the hostess session? Because this is nowhere near as masterfully run as when Kiryu and Majima were in charge of different hostess clubs, I, mean, I freely admit, but yeah, the, the, those two idiots definitely ran a better hostess bar than anyone else. Let's talk to Yui. We will see what Yui is. Oh, she's pretty. Not a big fan of her, her style. Though. I like the dress. Yui Let's have some fun today, yeah? Yeah, let's. I want some whiskey. Lots of whiskey. I'll have the chicken basket. All the chicken. Call us a club! Where's the gold statue of the owner? Do you think the owner is deserving of a gold statue of himself? You've seen this club. Is it anything like Forshine? Wait a minute, we never got a gold okay. statue of Majima! No, sorry. Dun, dun, dun. Where was the gold statue of Majima in Zero? Shouldn't anyone? Be more deserving of Majima of a gold statue slap bang in the middle of Club Sunshine. They wouldn't have fallen off the rails like they did if they had that mighty, glorious beast upon them. Still there in his golden glory upon the middle of the stage in front of everyone. No! No, they would not have! Majima, you were slacking! You ran away to Gamma Road Show! Admittedly, after the love of your life. But still, you went running away to Camera Road Show and you abandoned your club. For shame, good sir, for shame. At least you made it right. With that mighty air of. Uh, not that. No, no, that's not the word I'm looking for. Mighty statue of Kiryu. The Kiryu Chan. Stood upon for shine that broke my brain. Ever so slightly. And by that I mean I broke down laughing for about 10 minutes. <laughs> All the band. All the band indeed. And that was a great intro cutscene. I, I will never not love the Yakuza Zero intro for Mashima. That was just such an awesome one. I, I that was just that was a brilliant intro to any character. Amazing. Did you know I was on TV? Really? Uh -huh. Was on a show called Friday Night. It was uh, I was the defendant in the Troubled Lovers courtroom segment. Defendant, not the plaintiff. <laughs> These three guys accused me of stuff like you lied to me the whole time, and she swindled me out of all my money. They actually took me to court over it. Sounds intense. 
I had no idea why they went through all that trouble, though. I mean, I never forced them to do anything. I just said I wanted something and they bought it. Oh. So, why sue me? I didn't get it. Don't get it, even. They kept yelling at me to apologise to them and I was like, eh, are you dumb? Why should I apologise? Oh, you sound like such a charming woman. Um, 